how do I buy XRP from my Zum wallet? And the answer is now you can. <laughs> Previously, you were not able to, but this I'm JTXRP and this is gonna be a full tutorial about how to do so. Uh, but if you find this helpful, make sure to smash that like button. And if you do not have a Zum wallet set up already and you're trying to figure that part out, please head over to my other tutorial. It'll be in the description of this video below uh, or in the first pinned comment if I remember to do that. But that being said, uh, we're gonna get into it here now. So if you have your Zum wallet and it is set up, uh, and bef before you do this, by the way, please make sure that you have your credit card ready or the information you want for a wire transfer for your bank, because you're going to need it to be able to do this. So that being said, uh, we'll get started here. So Zum, have it open, and you're going to see that's going to read your face. You put your pin code in. If you hit the white X and white check mark button at the very bottom center, you will notice that a uh, different apps come up. Now, if you don't see Bonxa, B-A-N-X-A, which is the third party integration that Zum is using for the US, if you don't see it, it's maybe because you're in another country and they use different third parties. Uh, I would reach out based on the country you're in to the to uh what does it call it xr to zum <laughs> on twitter make sure you get the right account i'll link it in the description below but ask them what third party they use for your country for the us it's going to be Bonxa though and so again if you don't see Bonxa, you can hit the view more apps button and then you can come search it b-a-n-x-a and you can see it up here right there i'll just put it in for giggles there you are all right so we're going to tap on Bonxa. And it's going to bring us to this page. I got a little uh, disclaimer before that basically just said that, you know, if you use Bonxa, you know, XRPL services is not responsible or Zumba is not responsible for any losses. If you want support, go to go to Bonxa for support. And please, I'll answer your questions in the comments below as best I can. But I really want to direct you to Bonxa for any questions, because uh, this is a third party tool that's integrated into the app to on to onboard and on-ramp people into XRP. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna put in a fiat amount. The minimum is $50 and the maximum is 18,000. And if you have that 18,000 issue, remember to tip me for this video. <laughs> but uh, there's gonna be a 2% fee. It's 1.999, let's just call it 2%, all right? So make sure to put in your fiat amount. I'm gonna go in $60 and then it's going to put, just going to put in dot zero zero there just to make sure. All right. And so I'm actually going to use my Visa or MasterCard for the order. And it's already checked there. You can use a wire transfer uh, or a Google, uh, Google Pay. So there's also the uh, payment amount here that it shows. The amount you're going to receive is 145 XRP and change. The wallet address, the gate fees, and of course the network fees that we know because of XRP is next to nothing. So we're going to hit create order, and then we are going to uh, get a notice that's going to open Boxa for the URL. And so we're going to open the URL and allow it to go to Boxa. We're going to put in our email address and our phone number. And again, you're probably going to need to dox yourself doing this because it's the US and KYC, know your, know your customer rules and all that. So I'm going to put this in and I'm going to join you in the next step. So next you're going to receive a PIN code and it's going to be sent to your phone and you're going to need to enter that PIN code into the bar here. 4268. All right, now it's gonna ask you for all your personal details, like your full name, your middle name, last name, date of birth, zip code, country of origin, all that jazz. And of course, I'm sure as I type United States, it's going to ask me for even more <laughs> because that's just how this works. Um, it's gonna ask you for your social security number, of course. So make sure to fill all those things in and I will join you at the next step after I'm done. So after you're done with entering all that information, you're going to hit submit verification. So this is the next step. You're going to need to fill out your payment details. And you can see here that, you know, it's asking me for my credit card information. Obviously, I'm going to put that in. But if you are seeing, if you chose Google Pay or an ACH, you may see different, uh, different things here. So 
I'll do, fill this in and then see you in the next step. So I chose to hit make payment and then the following is happening. It says success. So this is the final order page after you've submitted order from your payment details. Uh, it will tell you whether or not it went through. Um, it says that my identity is confirmed, that my payment has been taken, and then it gives me the details. Now, what's important to note, if you get away from this page, your kid grabs your phone, you know, whatever have you, you can always get back to this through an email that they send you from what you put in earlier. So make sure you check your email for that. Uh, it does take a few minutes. The last box has taken me up to 30 minutes in the past with other tutorials and different times I've used it. Uh, but other times it can be really short. So it just depends, but it's taken me sometimes 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, I'll let you know how long it takes me here in a bit when I come right back. Well, I'm back everyone. And it took about an hour and a half, but you can see that my uh, order has been fulfilled based on Bonksa. And I just kept it open in my web browser on my phone. And I just kept, you know, dragging it down to refresh here. Um, didn't even look at my email. I was just kind of seeing if it would populate. But uh, yeah, an hour and a half is how long it took. Uh, your results may vary. If you want to help the community and post how long it took you in the comments below, uh, I'm sure that would be awesome. Uh, just so people can get an idea of, you know, when you did it, if you did it on like a Saturday night, and it took forever. If you did it on a Monday afternoon and it was done in 30 minutes, you know, that kind of stuff. I'm sure that community would be helpful in case someone's having trouble. Uh, but that being said, if you want to go to your Zoom wallet, always to confirm, and you just open up Zoom and seize your face or the pin. Uh, and you can see here that obviously I have more XRP than when I started. Uh, you can see here in the events, um, if I do a refresh here, you can see that, and I just drag down to refresh, and I'm on the events button at the bottom uh, next to home on the left-hand side. Uh, you can see my XRP there and that I got 145 XRP based on my purchase. So uh, that is that. And I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions about how to buy XRP, uh, make sure to check out my other tutorials. Uh, but I'm JTXRP. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'm out.